What is up, Aries? Again, it's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston. So uh, apparently only 10 minutes of my 29 minute video uploaded yesterday and I was not happy. Um, so here I am again, picking up where I left off with you guys yesterday. Uh, we were talking about, you know, the need for boundaries and the need for setting boundaries with people in your life. Um, a, a good portion of you, I would say right now are going through something like I was saying with Pluto retrograde, where people are really showing you who they are. They are showing you their ass and they're not being nice about it. And you're really now seeing who's there for you, who's not there for you. Um, and your eyes wide open and you're learning to listen and hear, which are, we know two totally different things. Normally we listen, but we don't hear. We're learning to listen and hear the double entendre behind what people are saying, the double speak behind what people say. I feel like some of you got into a rotten deal with somebody, maybe a divorce, um, could be work related, but some sort of, um, money involved contracts involved. Maybe you got the shit end of the stick in a divorce. Um, One thing I did notice is for quite some time now, um, we've had this sneaky energy around us and it seems like Pluto retrograde is really helping us out by showing us where it's coming from because it was coming from so many different places, third parties that it was like, we couldn't figure out who was worse or where it was coming from, or are we really seeing all of these people backstabbing or are we crazy? Like what's going on here? And I think that Pluto retrograde and bringing out that shadow self has really, really shown us that our instincts are 100% dead on about people. Um, there's definitely been third parties interfering in your friendships, your relationships. This could be your family. This could be your friends. Um, oh, wait, before I get nine minutes in again, let me just say this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, wherever you have this in your chart. I view it as if this applies to you, then there's a message in it and a lesson in it for you. So um, with that being said, welcome cross watchers. You're always welcome here. Um, I'm finally back and I plan on doing my weekly schedule and um, I will be doing more with the channel and interacting more now that I'm feeling better. Um, thank you all for sticking with me through this. Uh, it's been a hard road uh, trying to maintain this channel and also, um, get married and, you know, have such a life altering event on top of being sick. So, <clears throat> excuse me, chest cold again, it's finally going away. Um, yes, I know how many chest colds can one person get in one lifetime? The answer is too many. Um, all of you sticking by my side and seeing all of the same names in this community when I come back every time, you guys just absolutely warm my heart. You really do, but I don't want to make anyone cry. So we're going to move on from that. Um, if you need me, information is in the box below. I'm opening up readings again, finally, now that I don't have my wedding head attached. Um, I am opening up private readings, uh, classes and everything back up right now. I only have room for two other classes right now. So if that's what you're looking for, you probably want to get on that soon because once they take up those spots, um, there's no end to the tarot classes. Anyway, moving on. Um, while I was, I shuffled three decks for you guys again. Um, the Morgan Greer, um, I shuffled the, um, sorry, I'm super distracted by the message. They're telling me that what, decks are here are not significant. It's what is at the bottom of each deck. There's definitely some interference here, whether it be in your relationship, in your friendships, there is some, there is somebody here that's untrustworthy and you have these feelings about them. And it's not that, like I was saying, it's not like they outright disrespect you. It's very subtle. 
um, very passive aggressive, very in a way that you notice it. You don't say anything. You notice it, but you're sitting back and you're listening to the motive behind it. What is the motive behind what this person is doing? What is the motive? What is it they're really trying to get at? And you guys are sitting back thinking to yourselves, okay, you're backstabbing me. I can see it. You're being kind of blatantly passive aggressive right to my face. But what's your motive? What are you really getting at? And the bottom of the Morgan Greer deck is none other than the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Swords. He's running from her. And, and to me, it doesn't look like he's sneaking. It looks more like he's running from her. Like this person doesn't have good intention and the High Priestess in reverse. Here once again is the Starman Tarot. This is the one that's for me to be able to pick up more messages. Um, so if you guys are looking at this thing like, what in the hell? Has Kelly done lost her shit? No, Kelly has gained significant gifts again. And your high priestess is in reverse. He's running toward the high priestess. He's running away from this person. It, it feels more like he's running away with everything he owns toward these feelings of something that is not right here. And it goes with my intuition of watching the passive aggressive behavior of those around you. And I'm feeling it strongly. Like I asked the elementals to please bring in the collective for Aries. So Aries must be going through this on a grand scale of people that literally have inserted themselves into your friendships, your relationships, your family ships, whatever that might be. This person has inserted themselves in a very, um, sneaky, manipulative kind of way. And in doing so, the next cards here, because they're causing their own karma by doing things the way that they're doing them. If there's a problem, they should be saying it, but instead they're causing turmoil. Turmoil. Hold on. It's something to do with their, their motive behind what they are getting at, what that agenda is. And instead of realizing that when you mess with other people and their friendships, relationships, whatever, you earn karma. And in this case, you've got judgment. So judgment's going to be raining down. You see the angel there with his horn. In the middle of that is the Three of Pentacles, again, a card of a third party. And this is inserting yourself, not working together. It's inserting yourself back into a situation. And on the other side, judgment in the upright. This person is really getting like, deeply involved and you don't even know it. They could be talking about you behind your back to your family, your friends, um, your significant other, this person does not have good intention. Right underneath that, you've got a forced hand decision here. Do you confront it or don't you? Are you going to have to walk away from the situation? Because it looks like if you try to put a stop to it with the chariot, it's not going to end very well. Again, a third party situation. There's definitely somebody involving a third party situation because I keep getting these threes and these sneaky cards. So I feel more like it's someone else involving themselves than it is a third party situation where 
it's your significant other talking with someone else or you talking with someone else. Let's remember the energies come in vice versa. So it's, I don't get the energy from this. Like it's your significant other or you talking to someone else. I get the feeling like it's somebody inserting themselves in a way that they should not be. And whether your family, your friend, your partner, whoever this is, they're, they're not picking up on that. They're not seeing it for what it is. Um, sorry, guys, they're distracting me a lot today. They have so many messages when I look at, at this one card that it's just like, whoa. Um, it's the Ace of Pentacles. This person is so caught up in the brand new start with you or with them or your family, you know, things going right, abundance coming in, those types of things that you're reaping what you sow. And they're so caught up in this that it's like they're not seeing this that somebody's inserting themselves and gossiping and saying things they shouldn't and uh, trying to be the dominant factor in the situation. Um, and they're trying to cause trouble there. That's a happy home card. That's emotional fulfillment. That's true love. That's love that can't be conquered. And this person is trying to insert themselves and it could be someone you grew up with. It could be someone that you know. Um, but this person is definitely not good. Not good, have. Oh my gosh. Stop talking, please. <clears throat> this person does not have good intentions. They're using memories and um, things like that to get involved in this where they shouldn't be. And with the seven of cups, that's the star man deck. I, I kind of don't like showing it to you guys cause it makes more sense without it. Uh, with the star man deck and the seven of cups, that's creating clouds and confusion. That's creating mass confusion, trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes, having options that they don't know about you know, trying to pull that wool right over their eyes and not allow them to see that this is going on. Like I said, your family member may be completely unaware that things are being manipulated around them. They may not have any idea. Um, but you guys are definitely reaping what you sell. This seven is moving into the eight. Like it's taking time. Like there's an entire retrograde in the sky right now on top of um, the black new moon, the super moon on top of the Capricorn moon on top of the lunar eclipses on top of the, every planet spinning backwards possible right now. Um, except I think Mercury retrograde goes away soon. Yeah, I think it went away, but we're still feeling the after effects of all that. So let, just like last year, there's a time slow. And then when everything picks up, it's just going to slam right into each other. And you're just going to be go, 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 go. This time is a period to watch and to protect yourself. I got to make room here, kids. I got more cards and I know what to do with. I only shuffled three decks for you guys. Today. Only. Who brought the wacko? Now you guys all know I'm whacked anyway. But you're still here. Your favorite crazy Aries female reader. <laughs> I'm just being super goofy today. Um...
And you're definitely coming out of a tough time for those of you in a relationship. You guys are definitely coming out of a tough time um, of money. It feels like the money trickle, it's just trickling in. Like it's not flowing the way that it should. And I feel like that's going to change really soon. Um, I feel like you guys have been waiting quite some time for contracts to go through for brand new businesses to pick up. I know a lot of Aries are working for themselves now. Um, we like to be entrepreneurs and leaders and, you know, be the first out there with things. And that's just how we are. And then we're perfectionists. So waiting and waiting and waiting is waiting is not our thing. Um, but you've been waiting patiently. And while you're doing that, you're watching around you. There's an untruth there. There's an untruth there. And while you're waiting for this business to take off, now think about it this way, with divine timing, right? If all of this shit were to speed up and you were really, really busy, you would have vultures around you. And you'd be able to see them, but not pay as much attention to them as you normally would. But right now where you have this time slow, it's enabling you to step back during Pluto retro and watch everybody live in their shadow self. Like I said before, they think they're just in a bad mood, but what they're doing is it's exposing who they truly are inside and how they really feel about you. And all you have to do is watch because people are losing their shit. Essentially, I mean, we are coming into the age of Aquarius from Pisces and Aquarius is a totally different energy. And to top it all off with that Pluto, these are all your secrets. These are all your skeletons in the closet. And if you haven't dealt with them, they're getting dropped in front of you one by one right now. So people are really being who they truly are. They're dropping that social mask that they put on to like you or whatever it is. But that social mask is being dropped and you're really truly seeing. But because you were able to have this, you are able to see that there is an untruth there. This is the Holy Grail of Swords, just like the Ace of Cups is the Holy Grail of Love. This is the Holy Grail of Swords. And this is telling you whatever is going on here, not kingly behavior. It's certainly not worthy of royal royalty behavior. There's something going on here that's not quite right. This is all about starting in, with a new truth. And with this in reverse, next to this, it tells me that your contracts, your work, everything that you've been doing is slowing down for you to be able to see this. Because it's something really big. Um, and it's saying like, you guys are moving right out of this spot though, this emotionally heavy spot. You can see how emotionally and mentally draining this is. You're trying to escape rough water as well as a storm going on up here and carrying all your crosses on your back. And trying to move this little boat all the way over here to this island where it's sunny again. It's always a card of victory. It's a six. But to me, escaping is not a victory. And so when I see this, it always reminds me of escaping something. And it's like you're, you're escaping some sort of cycle here. Whatever is going on has happened in the past. Why this person is inserting themselves in your friendships and relationships and whatever it is that it is for you. This has happened before and you're getting away from the pattern of whatever that might be. So it's this retrograde might really suck ass, but it's serving the hell out of you guys right now. And so in a way, be grateful for it, right? Because without that, you never would have known to look for something like this. 
um, it's telling you that there is some secrets here. There's definitely secrets here regarding love. When I look at that as the background to this, if I put this cup underneath this, it's almost like it illuminates the truth. I mean, this card is really shining right now. There's a lot of love here. And then you bring in the Eight of Swords in reverse. Let me hear what they're saying about this, guys. Because this is a pretty powerful mix right here. I want to make sure that I word it right. There's something to do with secrets that are long untouched. You see up here, there's cobwebs. No one's entered that door in a long time. There are secrets there behind these cobwebs. And it has to do with whatever relationship is being interfered with. Whether it be your sister coming between you and your mom or your mom coming between you and your sister or someone come, it, inserting themselves between you and your significant other. And it's like you're coming out of the mind prison that you were put in. Not seeing this happen at first. You weren't seeing this happen, but you're refusing to stay here now that you see it. You're saying, okay, what the fuck is this? And you're taking off that blindfold, walking right out and going, okay, what is going on here? Because this stuff does not work on me. Whoever blindfolded me, come on out. Because I'm not the type of person to sit here anxious or whatever it is. You're calling, you're going to want to call this out. And it feels like you have every right to. Like this person's been working behind your back very subtly and also doing it right in front of you, Deme trying to demean you, but you're not reacting. You're just sitting, observing, watching, because you're coming out of this. Like I said yesterday, this five of cups keeps showing up. You're coming out of this. You're not dealing with that. Okay, Aries, I guess that's the rest of your read because <laughs> they, they gave me the same exact read that they gave me yesterday. So um, that's it for right now. Um, there's the rest of your reading that got cut off yesterday so graciously by YouTube. I hope you guys are able to relate to this because I feel it's a mass energy. Um, if you need me, again, I finally opened the readings again information's in the box below. Email me for a list of services. Um, and you guys won for last month. I picked a winner um, from last month's video. So check your comments. If I haven't heard back from you in at least two days, I'm going to choose somebody else. Um, I had someone go two weeks before without even contacting me. I picked someone else and I still never heard from them. So, um, just make sure you're checking your comments because it's a 60 minute live free reading for no reason other than you're the shit. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for all the views, the likes, the subscribes, um, and all the support. It's been a really hard month and you guys have really been, um, there for me. I appreciate it. So this is your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Beat in Boston. I will catch you on the flip.